Next, we have Mizuto Hirota against Alexander Volkanovsky. Now, these smaller guys age uh, a little quicker than bigger guys. I mean, it's just what I found to be true. You know, if the guy's fighting in his 40s, he's either a heavyweight like Mike Hall. Mark Hunt or uh, Dan Henderson and Randy Couture, light heavyweight. Um, do you think uh, his uh, Hirota, his best days are behind him? A hundred percent. I and this is another line that opened in the like mid two fifty to two sixty range. That's four thirty five now. Look, uh, I do think Hirota's best days are well behind him, and I certainly had anticipated using Volkanovski in a parlay. The problem is Volkanovski hasn't proved it. He hasn't yeah. really proved anything, and I'm not laying 435 with a guy who hasn't beaten anybody, proved anything. Should he win this fight? Absolutely. Is Hirota probably done? Absolutely, but I don't want to lay that kind of price tag. This is only <laughs> Volkanovski, Volkanovski's second UFC fight, right. and it's not like he's really big and long and a crazy. I mean, you see on his record, oh, he has a lot of early stoppages, but they're not against quality guys at the ufc level so like yeah matt said uh, we really don't know too much about him he's strong he's a physically strong guy he hits hard but um you know his there's some holes in his games he's he's yeah we haven't seen too much like i i mean i don't know i would would you be as uh would you go as far to say this might be a good fight to pick a, a huge dog in? Because Hirota is um, got a good record in the UFC. He's 3-0-1. Somebody asked me that earlier, and although I personally didn't bet that fight, this is what I told him. From an odds maker standpoint, let me give you a bet that makes a lot of sense. If you are tempted to bet this fight anyway, bet under two and a half rounds at plus 155. Because at plus 155, Hirota can punch. If he's going to win this fight and pull the upset, it's probably going to be a knockout. And at guys at his age, and we've seen Hirota a few times, if Volkanovski gets on top of him and just starts raining down at his age, it's probably the ref's going to be more apt to get in there and stop it. Because he has a tendency to turtle up on the bottom. If Volkanovski gets that heavy top game and starts that grounded pound, it could get stopped too. And at plus 155, yeah, you don't get the huge payoff you would get from Hirota. But then if Hirota gets stopped too, you get the win. So if I was going to bet the fight, that's the only place I would look is under two and a half rounds plus 155. Uh, that's a good point, and um, that does it for the main card. Uh, Nick, either of these guys call anything out to you? Uh, I, I agree with Matt. I mean, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do with this, uh, Hirot is old, uh, still a good puncher. So if he catches this guy, but you know, uh, old for a little guy, for a, for a big guy, guy yeah. he'd be in his prime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does it for the main card. Uh, the undercard guys, uh, I'm not touching personally.